<laughs> so we finally get to discover what her hair really looks like. She has short, sassy auburn hair that curled wildly around her face, stopped just above her shoulders, enhancing the impression of a forest fairy that Mackenzie had had when he first saw her. And her eyes are really a soft blue of the Caribbean, so close to lavender. They almost were. Um, yeah, it's bitchin'. So, blah, 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 they're driving. They're gonna go to a DS weekend at someone's plantation house. For real. Um, and they'd stop in a general store. She bought cheese, blackberry preserves, a fresh tomato, and a couple baguettes to go with a bottle of wine. He got her a, fan a fountain vanilla Coke and himself a Dr. Pepper. How lovely. So they have some bread and cheese. And, um... Yeah, she blindfolds him or makes him close his eyes, takes up the white plastic spreading knife and splits him the blackberry preserves on top of his cock, just the length of the shaft behind the head. Because, I don't even know, like, blackberry jam? It's gross. I just... Mmm. I don't think that's very sexy. Also, licking the condiment from him is not a sexy line. But... What do I know? Uh, yeah, so later on, he makes her some dinner. Because he's this hot ass, and, uh, yeah. <clears throat> What's that in there? She nodded to the plastic container he'd left on the counter. That's dessert, a chocolate tart. The fanciest chocolate dessert I've had is a Sara Lee fudge cake at Walmart. And that was pretty darn good. What's a tart? A tart is a thin layer of cake with a filling in between the layers. In this cake, a chocolate ganache mousse. Supposed to be chocolate ganache, I assume, but they spell G-N-O-C-H-E. Also, chocolate ganache is like kind of like a heavy, thick item, and like you normally have chocolate ganache mousse. Whatever. It's like whipped chocolate cream, which again, whipped chocolate whipped cream is not chocolate mousse, nor is it chocolate ganache. I hate everyone. Blah, 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 blah. Also, he's made something simple for the entree. An angel hair pasta tossed in a blend of garlic and oil with a bit of herbal seasoning and an organic scrambled egg mixed in for protein. A side dish of steamed vegetables. I made the pasta myself. No meat. Is this typical for you? He nodded. Yes. I've been a vegetarian for about 10 years. Christ. Um, yeah, so... This is the worst thing ever. Um, blah, blah, blah. They chat incessantly about his life, her life, commitment issues, horrible things. And she tells him to close her eyes and she's going to, you know, unzip his pants and all that. She leaned forward and began to smear the ganache on his cock, the tip, the sides, the area of his clean-shaven balls. He'd obeyed her to the letter, his scrotum and pubic area cleanings for one neatly trimmed triangle just above the ganache. Above his cock, I'm sorry. Neatly trimmed triangle above the cock. He groaned as she put methodical care into it, going back to the plate to get more of the ganache until his cock was slathered in it. She rose, took up her cloth napkin, and blindfolded him with it. A slave should never see his mistress with her head below his, even when her actions are to serve her own pleasure. That's why I couldn't let you look down on me at our picnic and I made you close your eyes. So remember everyone, uh, when you're a true mistress, you can't watch you give him a blowjob. Or you can't lean down in front of him, I guess. I don't know. Um, also, earlier we learned that she is a master or mistress, I guess, at the game and thus delays her orgasm incessantly. And I would say a real mistress or master of the sex game would have lots and lots and lots of multiple orgasms because that's awesome. But apparently not. Um, so after the uh, chocolate ganache, cock, sundae, sorbet, dessert, there's a lot more blah, 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 blah. It turns out she's a cop as well as he's a cop. And they both investigate the murderer. And you're like, oh, who is it? Could it be this mysterious loner mistress that we have pointedly named who plays with guys only one time and seems to have a mysterious past and has been hurt and wounded and over oh, 14 year old brother committed suicide and maybe he was molested and blah 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 blah. No, of course it isn't her. It couldn't be her. It's actually evil uh, identical twins who are pro doms and run an exercise club. Uh, this book is terrible. 
And there's also at the end a very touching diatribe where Mac, also known as the Oak because he is so solid and strong, um, gets mad at everyone for their horrible stereotyping about kinky people and thinking that they're deviant perverts, which is not true, y'all. Kinky people are just like everyone else. They just do some things in the bed. Um, so, at any rate, he gets tied up. Um, he gets fucked up the ass by someone, which is mean. He doesn't like being touched by men, because men, there's all that ass fucking. Because I guess gay men don't do anything other than fuck each other up the ass continuously. Yeah, so he's tied up, he's getting fucked up the ass by someone, and beaten with something, and then his girlfriend Violet comes in and rescues him, but after he's already been fucked up the ass and beaten, and then the surviving twin tries to kill her and him in the hospital bed. It's really dumb. So they kill both twins. Um, and then they live happily ever after, and um, I hate this book. I just want to die. I'm sorry, Dee, I couldn't read more to the book more of the book to you. I just lost my will to live at a certain point in here. Um, I can't remember what it was. Let me see if I can figure out where I lost the will to live, and I'll read that portion for you.